In this segment, we are going to have a look at some different shooting techniques, some methods to make your shooting a lot more relaxed and stable. We're going to have a look at how your trigger pull can affect your accuracy, how things like your breathing and heart rate can also have a massive effect on how well you shoot. Um, how you actually hold the rifle and bring it up to bear can have a difference on how successfully you can shoot and land hits on your chosen target. It also has a lot to do with the distances you are shooting at and obviously your choice of ammunition and your scope. But most of these techniques will be universal between air rifles and rimfire, centerfire rifles in that if you can control your trigger pull, control your breathing and your heart rate, before you take the shot, make sure that you're nice and steady and ready to take the shot at that point. You should be able to hit what you're aiming at. So we move on to how you would mount the rifle with center fire rifles that are going to have some felt recoil, making sure that the stock is firmly in your shoulder is essential. Failure to do so may result in, in discomfort or injury. The alignment of the rifle in your shoulder to your cheek and to the scope is imperative to make sure that you have a clear and crisp sight picture. Once you have the rifle mounted and you are steady, you can then apply a nice gentle even pressure to the trigger and then squeeze to let the shot off. Some longer distance shots will require you to control your breathing usually inhaling, hold, squeeze and exhale on the squeeze of the shot. This is when your body will be at its absolute most still and the sway of your body and its natural movement will be lessened at that point. This is good obviously for keeping your sight on the target, keeping the rifle aligned and making sure that the shot is released slow and smooth and without any jerky or sudden movements on the rifle to keep the sights and the rifle aligned with the target. If you have it tucked in tight enough, this also helps keep it steady and control the recoil, as mentioned earlier. The tight grip and keeping a nice clear sight picture, if you're comfortable with the rifle and you can manipulate it quickly, also means that any follow-up shots are also a possibility if that is required afterwards. So, in summary, you would make sure that the rifle is securely mounted up into your shoulder and this is the same for whether you would be standing, kneeling or in the prone position. Acquire your cheek weld so that you have your crisp and clear sight picture. Control your breathing and your heart rate, make sure that you are as steady as possible. Pressure onto the trigger and then on the exhale gentle squeeze and hold and that should be the steadiest form of shooting you should always try and acquire as much stability in your stance as you can to give you every chance of keeping the rifle and the scope steady and on target